Lawyers are divided over the detention of two Caverton helicopters pilots and their passengers in River State. They were arrested for allegedly breaking state regulations against coronavirus. But the federal government says the airline secured permission before flying into the state. Our correspondent Uche Okoro has more on this report. From cases related to security and then to electoral matters, interpretation and application of the Nigerian constitution has always been a subject of controversy. This time around, it is the aviation sector that has once again brought the nation's law book under scrutiny. Here, two legal luminaries, one a senior advocate of Nigeria and the other a professor of law, think differently about the arrest and detention of the pilots. The governor has not in any way infringed on the exclusive list. He did not deny permission to land. He did not purport to grant permission to land. So I don't know how you are saying has the governor infringed. The governor said, I was invited here that some people flew in an aircraft with passengers. We don't know the passengers. We don't know the status of the passengers. You, the pilots who flew them in, have to answer how you came to fly in persons without any clearance, because that was the first allegation. The president's regulation has national application, nationwide application. Now, you may ask what would become the fate of the earlier regulation made by the state uh, before the presidential regulation. And the normal position of the law is that where there is no conflict, that regulation remains valid. But if there is a an item on which the two have different provisions, then that of the president will supersede that of the uh, governor. They also hold different views on the fate of the two pilots who by a court order are to spend 42 days in detention before their trial begins. The state says for now they are being held at this state government-owned hotel in Port Harcourt. What will the court do when they provide an exemption from the president? Or national authorization to do what they did. Everything was done in accordance with our rules of practice and procedure in the courts. With all that has been said, there is agreement that this is not the time to flex political muzzles. Rather, emphasis should be placed on communication and collaboration between state and federal authorities to fight a pandemic that has led to the death of more than 95,000 people globally. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt.